it's me Nick and welcome back to the Lucky Shot 13 channel we are back here today in our new house just hanging out um, actually I just finished sleeping off the night and as you can see by the chat uh, yeah got blown up by a creeper yeah so we're off to a great start already today so the first thing on my agenda is to hop over here to the uh, the new minecart tunnel that I showed that I was working on uh, in the last episode um, just to show um, a little bit of the progress that I've made. It's not a lot of progress, it's a little bit of something. Owls will just try and fall to our death. That's all good. Pop down here. Yeah! So as you can see I've got it dug out a pretty good ways into the distance. It actually ends right there, actually into the uh, super chunk that iron pine made, so I actually have to tunnel that across that, and that's why I stopped where I stopped. So I'm trying to get sort of all the blocks filled in along the whole length of the thing, uh, just to make resource gathering a little bit easier. I can sort of get one thing at a time as I work on it. So the plan for today's episode is actually not to work on this uh, minecart tunnel. Um, we're actually going to be working on a bit of a redstone project. So a while back I saw a video for a horse racing simulator um, that Mumbo Jumbo built. And I thought to myself, wow, that's really neat, but I don't ever really know when I'd, I'd build one. Well, here on the server of late... Uh, you know, some people here have gotten together and they've started to make some mini games, sort of some community projects, like the boat race track that they made. Um, I also know that a few of us are working on sort of a, a PvP battle area that we've been working on. And I thought to myself, well, the server could always use more mini games for us to hop on and, and play together. <laughs> yeah, you can still see that. Iron Pine has left our prank up for a little while. Our 50th, his 50th episode prank that I did on him. If you haven't seen me do that, uh, go back and watch the previous episode. So yeah, I decided that it was about time that um, I made a mini game myself here on the server. So I figured I would build Mumbo's uh, racing simulator. And now I have to remember which way to go to get to it. Oh, wrong, well, that's the wrong way to start with. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, I don't really have anything else planned but to do that. This is probably going to be a pretty short episode. Um, not a whole lot to do. Maybe it's what I'll do is after I'm done working on the simulator, I will pop over to the, uh, the PvP battle area and uh, show off the progress that we've made so far on that, since it is just right over here at the Acacia Village. I mean, it is, I mean, it, it is literally right, right here. So, I'll definitely pop over here after we've, after we've built the, um, the horse racing simulator. So, is what I'm going to do, is pop over there, put all the stuff, most of the stuff I got into a chest, figure out what I need to get started, and then I will, uh, bring y'all back in a second. Alright, so, we are back here over at the, uh, the simulator. And I've got uh, some materials all put in together. It's iron. Okay. So is all I'm doing here is sort of getting a general layout, um, an outline, if you will, of the uh, of the thing. So let me see this block. Okay. So one more here. Then like this. Then like this. Let me come over here so I can get on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the outline of it in snow blocks and then fill in the center of it with packed ice. And so instead of like a horse racing simulator, it's going to be more like a more like a, a sled, like a I don't quite want to say a bobsled simulator, but it's probably pretty close. I mean, it's going to be on ice, so I mean it's you know like tubing or sledding or whatever you want to call it, but sort of a snowy mountain themed uh, deal. And of course we're building it in the middle of a savanna right next to a desert. But, you know, it's Minecraft, so why not? We can just let our imaginations run wild. So like I said, I'm gonna sort of build up this edge here with the um, with the snow blocks 
and then fill in with packed ice and then I'll probably make the back since I'm gonna have to cover up the redstone and, and make the redstone that will probably be iron blocks but it's gonna look pretty darn close um, to the uh, to the white color of the snow so yeah now that I've got the frame in place let's look down here at the bottom and see how we're coming along okay yeah yeah not too bad not too bad at all all right, so what I'm going to do now is start filling in the center with the ice, and then I'll bring y'all back whenever right. I'm finished with that. So I've gotten uh, the uh, the packed ice filled in now. So this is going to be where the um, the powered rails are going to go. And, of course, I've started to sort of fill in the side a little bit and uh, do some little some decorating here, packed ice platform, etc., etc., and so now is what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the powered rails put on here. So there will be uh, four separate tracks. So you'll have uh, four choices here on the simulator that you can bet on on who is going to win. So two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Okay. So twenty there, and now we'll just rinse and repeat. So I'm gonna finish placing these uh these tracks on here, and then whenever I finish the tracks, I will bring y'all back and I will do um, all of the redstone circuitry for all this. Alright, everybody. Uh, on Welcome back. So, yeah. Uh, I know that I said uh, probably in the previous clip of this that I was going to do um, all the redstone on camera. Now, that originally was my plan, except that... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Really? Really? That was just awful. What an awful way to start back this clip. Oh, I don't really want to start it over. I'll probably just leave this in and run back over here and get my stuff. And I probably needed to sleep off the night. Okay, let's do that first. Sleep off the night. Oh, man. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just finish saying what I was saying. Um, that I was going to do the resident on camera. However... Um, I went to shoot all that, and then I had my recording software crashed, so then I stopped, and then I got it all working again, and then my, uh, my Minecraft client crashed, so I got everything back up and running and recording it, and, uh, then I didn't have any audio on it, so I've kind of finished everything up, um, on the simulator, and it now basically is what I'm going to do is just finish up the exterior, and then I will show y'all the redstone and sort of walk through um, what all I did just because it's a little bit different from Mumbo's design just in terms of how I wired it up um, but it's pretty much the same type of deal so if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll definitely leave a link uh, to his video in the description so you can go and watch the original one and then kind of see how I've I've taken it. Basically, he just had like the bare bones, and the way he had it wired up was a little bit different. Um, but I've pretty much, pretty much copied his his machine there, and then just decorated it in my own style. Um, so if I can hop back over here real quick and grab my stuff, and then I will show y'all the redstone behind it. Okay, we're almost there. Oh my goodness. I could just time jump it, I guess, but that just wouldn't be as fun as seeing me die and then struggle to get back to my things, which is becoming a little bit more commonplace than I'd like, and I guess I'm still working through all the being away from Minecraft quirks that I've been going through, having to take that break from the game, so hopefully most of my stuff is still here. Yeah, it is. Ding, 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 ding. So I had a bunch of other like building materials and things on me uh, for today. Okay, let's see. 
Let's check my armor back on. My little, my janky, my janky armor. It's a good word. Okay, get my ender pearls. All right. Then I need my snow blocks. Okay, so maybe let's try this again, except without like the death and destruction. Let's let's try that. There we go. Okay. So yeah, you can see where we where we pop up here. We'll come in right at um, the bulk of the redstone. So this right here is sort of the heart of the machine, and is all it is is it's a two bit randomizer. Okay, so a two bit randomizer is in Minecraft is a dropper facing upward into a hopper facing downward. The dropper has a stackable and non stackable item in it. Okay, so that way if the uh, non-stackable item goes up into the hopper you get a stronger output through the comparator since I fell down oh my gracious I'm just I'm just having a terrible time with this today honestly oh I have sand on me even better I'll just pillar up with sand um, okay so let's get back up here so that way, if you get the non-stackable item into the hopper, you get a stronger output through the comparator. You can see the comparator there facing out into some redstone and then a repeater into the packed ice where the powered rails are. Okay? So now if the stackable item goes up there, it doesn't create a strong enough output to power the rails. So you have, uh, in essence, a 50-50, a sort of a 50-50 chance of getting an output. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean you'll get an output every other time. Then is what I've done that's sort of different is I wanted the the lever to be all the way sort of on ground on ground level. So is all I did to hook this up since all of those two bit randomizers are hooked up to a uh, a hopper clock. Um, so this hopper clock here. So all I did was I just ran my lever down here into some redstone so that this this clock can be locked. And then I just towered it up there using slabs. So I just towered the redstone up using slabs and a repeater for a little extra power. Okay? So that's sort of the gist there. So let me pop back up. What happened to my... Now I can ender pearl up. Yeah. Well, this will be interesting. Whew. Making making myself nervous. Jump down here. I guess I could have put the now I can pillar up with the sand here. Okay. But yeah, you can see the overall design that I was going for. This sort of icy mountain slopes. And I got rid of my food, which I need. Okay. So now is what I'll do is demonstrate it pop back over here so after the uh, after each race it does not have an auto system the one that Mumbobill didn't mind is either it doesn't have an auto system to pop minecarts back up I mean this is the one thing that you just that you have to do manually still so you just come up here to the top track pop in this right here come back down then you can see each one is named Speedy, Needy, Billy, and Bob and then you'll come up a player will come up, open the chest that they want to place a wager in, they'll put their wager into the chest, okay, and then they can either stand here, they can say who they took, whatever, okay, so four people at a time can use it, all of the wagers go into this chest here, and then is all you have to do is flip this lever like this, and then the hopper clock and the randomizers will do the rest, so you can see here that it is, and I, I tested it out a few different times before, and actually some of the guys on the server came over, and we all tried it out, and it, it works really well. It, it really is quite random. Uh, it's random not just in who wins, but even the margin of victory is, is very random as well. So you can see here, it looks like Needy, yep, see, and then he trips the redstone lamp. So that lets you know that Needy is won, so the person who bet on Needy can go and collect their prize. Bob in second, Billy third, and Speedy last. And then all the lights are lit up, so that way you know they've all reached the bottom. And then you just flip this back off. And then you're ready to destroy the minecarts and start all over again. So yeah, 
that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it really, it's not a, a terribly complicated build. Um, it took a little while, but I, actually what the longest part for me was the fact that um, it seemed like I didn't know how to count how many snow blocks I needed, and I had to keep going back for snow, and it took me a ridiculously long amount of time to get the snow just because I don't have a silk touch shovel, so I'm not out, like, at an, like, getting chunk, like, getting whole snow blocks. I'm out destroying little snow layers <laughs> and and putting snowballs together and getting it that way. The the old-fashioned slow way uh, is how I've been doing it, and it was, it was just really stupid. That's really what took me the longest. Other than that, I mean, you could probably build this whole thing in, I mean... What, half an hour, maybe? Like, if you just wanted the bare bones of it, or you had a bunch of the decorations lying around, I mean, half an hour. You know, and then you can have one of these. And it is a really, really neat mini game. Uh, me and some of the guys really did have a lot of fun uh, testing out. It definitely has a lot of a lot of possibilities there on what you can do. I'll take that. And leave this. Okay, so now let's hop down. We'll look at the front, the sides, the back, get like a full 360. Um, and then that will pretty much be it for today's episode probably will not be very long just a bunch of little clips and progress let's take a look so here we have the front one of the sides the back with the ladder for easy access oh, fell into a hole and then we have this side with the lever here and then if we want to we can climb all the way up to the top and look down at it and then that should give us a really really nice idea of what the whole thing looks like how big it actually is um, so yeah and we have a really really nice spot here um, right here on the edge of the the PvP area that they're building and we can just start to make out the outline of the, the ziggurat in the distance and I should turn my render distance up next time because then we can actually see the uh, like the iron farm as well, the iron farm and walkway. And also, I added these the carpets here on the front to make it look like you know some of the snow has come down out of it like this, and just all tie it together into a really really uh, organized theme. And I don't know who's left this stuff over here, but it's not mine. But that's okay. So yeah, uh, I hope that y'all uh, enjoyed watching me make this thing. Uh, I hope that it helps. Maybe if you didn't quite get how some of the redstone works, how it's all wired up, I mean, you can just see that you can tower right in from a hopper clock into a 2-bit randomizer onto your, onto your power rails. It really is that simple. This is a, a neat little, you know, wintry design if you, if you wanted to use it. Um, I quite liked it. Uh, so yeah, that's really all that I have for today. I uh, hope that y'all enjoy the episode, and I will see y'all next time. What?